Starring Bela Day in... But, Ma, that's my favorite movie! Oh, well, all right. But don't you spend too much time in front of that TV, do you hear me? Yes, Ma. Well, hello, everybody. How are you doing today? I hope your day is going well. Well, welcome back to another episode of my podcast. But Ma, that's my favorite movie. And I'm your host, B. Day. And before we go any further, I have to thank my listeners. If you are a returning listener, thank you so much for your time in lending your ear. I don't even know what accent that was. I'm going to stop it. Um, Thank you so much for coming back time and time again. Get, you know, definitely just listening to my podcast and, you know, staying faithful and supporting me. I appreciate it. And guess what? You're a real one, period. And if you are a new listener, well, then welcome. Hello. Thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you for lending us your ear. And you are definitely in for a treat. And hopefully this will keep you coming back for more. All right. So let's go ahead and get into this episode today, which is titled, But Ma, that's my favorite interracial couple movie. So if it's not self-explanatory, basically, we're going to be discussing movies that have to do with couples that are mixed race. Okay. And um, I just think this is very interesting because to be honest, a lot of what people are these days are mixed race wise not nationality because a lot of people get them confused but that's a whole nother topic for a whole nother podcast okay um but yeah so there is a lot of mixed race people it's not how it used to be um a lot of people are not even just one thing I'm actually not one thing okay and uh yeah so I just figured I would pay homage to it because it is such a thing we don't get a lot of movies that are involved with the swirl but we have enough that uh this is definitely worthy of an episode so we're just gonna hop right into it lights camera action but i never dated a white man before not that i'm not attracted to white men oh because there's some fun looking white men in here but my only problem with the white man is that y'all don't know how to break up with the woman. I watch the crime channel. You date him. You come up missing, don't you? Everybody be looking for you. You be chopped up in the freezer with sandwich bags with a barbecue sign on your head. All right. Well, the first movie that we're going to talk about today is something new and that quote is actually by the comedian some more who um, has a role in this movie and some more is super super funny um so this was released february 3rd 2006 so day after my birthday um the writer is chris turner which um, is actually a woman and she actually wrote for shows like sister sister and living single and this is a black woman by the way and the director is Sinai Hamry, which is crazy because the lead actress, her name is Sinai. Um, but she also directed Just Right in the Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants too. And we're going to go ahead and get into the summary. So Kenya, played by Sinai Lathan, is an accountant who wants love, but has a laundry list of what she wants her ideal man to be. She also plays it very, very safe in her life. She doesn't take any risk. She just wants to kind of do things by the book and she wants to be in control. Very relatable. All right. So the beginning of the film is it's Valentine's Day and Kenny is going on her morning jog and she gets reminded about how single she is when she sees a couple kissing in their driveway. Then later in the day, she ends up going to work and one of her colleagues who's getting married, she mentions to Kenya that she should find someone. And it's like, duh, I'm pretty sure Kenya already knows that already. And so uh, her friend comes up with an idea to set Kenya up on a blind date with one of her friends. 
Hello everyone, this is Bila Day. Sorry to interrupt this episode, but I just wanted to let you know that you were only listening to a preview. So if you would like to listen to the rest of this episode, then you can definitely go to the website, but ma, that's my favorite movie.com, or you can go directly to any of these platforms for the full episode. We are available on Podbean, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, iHeartRadio, Radio Public, Pocket Cast, Cast Box. Please don't hesitate to follow the podcast on any of those platforms so that you can be notified anytime a new episode is available. If you didn't know, our primary release day is every Thursday, but be on the lookout for bonus content as well. Now, if you've listened to the But Ma, That's My Favorite Movie podcast before, that's awesome. Thank you. I appreciate it. So if you have a friend that loves movies like we do, then definitely go ahead and share this podcast with them. And if you're a new listener and you do end up enjoying the podcast, well, then you go ahead and share with a friend too. Also, don't forget to like any of our social media pages so that you can also get updates and regular information about the podcast and about any of the episodes that are coming up. The social media sites that we have a presence on are Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And also, if you want to leave a review, whether constructive or positive, we'd appreciate that too. All right, go ahead and get over to one of the other platforms so we can finish getting into the rest of these movies.